Hey everyone, Val here. I am getting lunch ready. Um, my daughter and her husband is coming over. Um, Steve's going to finish putting the brakes on the car. He did the back brakes and now he's got to do the front brakes and fix a, a cord that goes to the, uh, the tail light. I guess a uh, cable is has a short in it or something. Anyway, it came in the mail. So he's going to fix that. I'm cutting up some watermelon here. Uh, we're going to have some watermelon and I'm going to fix some uh, like uh, chicken wraps. So I'm going to grill some chicken, um, saute some onions and mushrooms and peppers and we're going to do some grilled chicken wraps for lunch with the, uh, the with the watermelon. So uh, I'm, I'm cutting the watermelon now. I'm going to get ready to cut up the vegetables for sauteing and the chicken. And uh, I'll show you what I'm doing as I'm going along here. So uh, let me finish cutting up this watermelon. It looks nice and juicy. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's some good watermelon. So I've got, I got a whole watermelon. It's going to last me for a couple days because we're having friends over tomorrow. And um, hopefully they'll let us videotape a little bit. And uh, I'll uh, show you that if they're agreeable to that. They know we're YouTubers because that's where they met us. So they don't, they have a YouTube channel, but they don't put videos out. They're just, uh, they just watch. So I met them on YouTube um, because of the cruising videos. So they, we've met them one time before and just went out for lunch before all this COVID started. We've been wanting to get together. So they're going to come over tomorrow and hang out with us a bit and uh, go out on the boat. And then we're going to cook some dinner together. So be looking out for that if they let us film them. If not, we'll try to film something. But uh, I'll have plenty of watermelon left over for them. So I've got half the watermelon cut and I've got a full bowl already. That'll be good for lunch. And then I still have the half a watermelon left over for tomorrow. So let me clean up my mess. I'm going to start cutting these vegetables. And then we'll saute up these vegetables and put some wraps together. And I'll let you say hi to my daughter. Her channel is Feriana Vlogs. And I can uh, try to remember to put a link in the description box below so that you can go and show her some love on her channel too. Um, she's the, my daughter that does the, some of the tag videos with me. Now that she's moved, it's kind of tough for her because she doesn't have stable internet. So until she gets that figured out, it's hard to, to do a, a video tag with her, but we may try to do one today while she's here. Uh, just do a live stream real quick how that goes but uh, in the meantime let's get this lunch started all right I have some sweet peppers here I'm gonna rinse these off and give them a cut them up and put them in the pan we do some sweet peppers and some onion Grab a clean towel here just to dry them off a little bit. We have a yellow onion. I'll cut that up. So let's see what we can do here.
So I'm gonna add some Grill Mates chicken rub onto the chicken just to give it a little kick. Kick it up a notch. I'm gonna put some stir fry oil on the bottom of both of my pans for sauteing. And I'm gonna saute the mushrooms separate from the onions and peppers just because I know that Steve doesn't like mushrooms. So I'm gonna start in this pan. Oops, I'm gonna to have to put it in the rear. Can you see it back there? Um, my front burner doesn't come on without lighting it and I don't wanna to have to take the time to go light it. So I'm gonna start the back burner and put it on about a five. Start the front burner and put it on about a five to get that warmed up. The chicken is going to go in this pan. The, uh, I'm going to start with the mushrooms in the back pan. All right, let's throw our mushrooms back there and we'll get those cooked up first and then we'll take these out of the pan and cook up our peppers and onions. Chicken in this one. And I cut this chicken into strips. Recording? Yep. That's okay. Oh! <laughs> and this is how we prevent Valerie from burning all the food. We have to come over here and flip everything. Mm. Yummy. Alright, everybody, we got Fariana Vlogs in the house. Also, like a little seasoning on here? Or? Um, yeah, I put a little grill mate chicken seasoning on there. All right. So the mushrooms are looking good. Look at those. And our chicken. Getting there. Getting there. All right. So we're going to let the mushrooms go about another minute. And we'll pop those out and put the onions and the peppers in there. And keep on going with the chicken. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. All right. Let's uh get these mushrooms out of this pan and go on to the next vegetable. I'll lay them down on the serving tray. that away from that heat. All right. And then chicken still got a little bit. I had a few pieces that are still pink. Yeah, that's fine. We just got to do these onions and peppers real quick. We're going to add a little more oil in there just to touch. We're going to throw our peppers and our onions in there. There's some over on that cabinet, that bottom shelf is some chili taco seasoning. Yeah, because one was uh one was getting empty. Alright, she's gonna throw some taco seasoning. Mix on the fajitas. You want and there or do you want veggies? Uh, wherever you think. I think chicken it would it would add more of a kick than anything. Alright, show them what you're using on that. Uh, I'm doing the McCormick taco seasoning mix. Um, it's only got like three carbs. It's 
got 15 calories per two teaspoons of the mix, um, 380 milligrams of sodium. It's less than one sugar, which that usually is just what prevent caking and stuff more than any, than seasoning. So. And you can get those online. I go online to Walmart and order my big spices, my big jars of spices online from Walmart. And they're fairly inexpensive. They're not that bad at all. It's roughly the same because I usually do my own seasoning mixtures. And even with, like, literally it's just like chili powder and cayenne and paprika and, you know, onion, salt. It's, it's all the same. So it can come out with about the same. All right, so let's let those get fried up, and we'll go on to serving them. Our fajitas are served. We have our grilled chicken, our mushrooms and onions. We have some watermelon, some fresh cucumbers out of the garden. We are going to try the avocado salsa. Uh, we have our guacamole salsa, which is mild, and we love that already. But we also got the salsa casera, which is a medium. That should have a little bit of kick to it. And we have our cheddar cheese. So make you a fajita and tell me what you're putting on it as far as the sauces and if you like the sauce or not. We have Michael. Hi, Michael. Hello. And daughter, the evil, the evil daughter. Wait, you have another daughter? <laughs> yes, we have two more. <laughs> Meredith and Rachel. Who's married in? <laughs> I'm genetically evil. Yeah, they broke the mold. Okay. I'm going to try this because you guys had that in your fridge. I've never had that before. The garlic smashed buffalo. That's yeah. That's really good. Is it? It's like a buffalo sauce like you would put on buffalo wings. That's what I was figuring it would be mm -hmm. good for. I even picked up yesterday, I went to the store, and I got like the Hooters Buffalo Mild or whatever, and I got like a big head of cauliflower. I'm going to do a roasted cauliflower with buffalo, like a buffalo, like a buffalo chicken basically, but cauliflower mm -hmm. instead. Because cool. I saw a recipe for that online. I was like, oh, that's good. Are you going to record it and on there. put it on your channel? Oh, I'll do that. Where's the lettuce? All right. We have to go find lettuce. Be right back. All right, so how's yours? Uh, it's pretty good. The chicken's good. The the mushrooms and the peppers are good. Okay. And you did you have any sauce? No, I, I just did some sour cream. Okay. And what do you put in yours? It's flat and green. <laughs> I did chicken, onions, peppers, um, the avocado salsa stuff, and a dollop of dessert. Let's try to be PC about this. I'm not make some noises. What is that? It's a ranch, a buffalo ranch. I've never tried it before. It smells good. It is good. Are you eating it on cucumbers? I'm gonna try it real quick. Does it work? It's not that bad on it, cucumber. It's got good on chicken. Oh, it's got a nice little kick to it. Tell me how you like the avocado salsa. Did you try that? A little avocado salsa. I usually have it with like my tuna. Oh, you've had it before? Salad. Oh yeah. I've never had it with um, fajitas though. Let's try it with chicken. How it come out? <laughs> it's definitely garlicky. Oh, that's good. That's a good flavor of fajitas. Nice. I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. It looked really interesting, so I'm going to give it a shot, too, and see if I like it. All right, let me put my fajita together. And yours is good? Yeah, it's juicy. Juicy all over your plate. Well, that's good. Juicy's good. Mm -hmm. You like the flavor of the chicken? Yeah. Good. All right. right, let's. Uh, let me get mine made. All right, so on mine, I put the avocado and I'll tell you what I stuck my finger in it <laughs> and oops I really like it don't so, let her be all, all coy about it she was like oh mm -hmm. ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and then I did this salsa casserole and I had you know I 
got it out with my spoon and I licked my spoon and mmm. <laughs> we like both of those. <laughs> so I have chicken on mine. I have mushrooms, onions, and peppers and some cheese. And I have mine on a tomato basil sun-dried wrap from Mission. The chicken has really good flavor. Thank you. That's good. The taco sauce goes good on it. This has the mixture is good. The avocado, mm -hmm. the salsa. Nice and juicy. I'm gonna have to give that two thumbs up. Oh my gosh, that's so good. She's only got one, I'll give her a thumb up. <laughs> a broken thumb up. It goes so good together. There's just enough kick on there to make me happy. I mean, I don't like the, the spiciness to take over the flavors, but the flavors mesh together really good. The guacamole, or the uh, avocado salsa dip, and the salsa, salsa casserole medium. Very, very good together. All right, thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye now. Bye now. Mm.